I think most of you would probably try to solve this question algebraically, and most of you would probably succeed, but it feels a bit unsatisfying because if I already knew how to solve this algebraically, and then I solved it algebraically, well then what did I learn from the question? Our goal at home isn't to pick the right answer, our goal at home is just to learn something from that question so that we'll be able to push our GMAT score up in the long run. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can reason your way through these Roman numeral options and hopefully that will actually improve our reasoning. So let's do that right after the intro. So if we're going to reason our way through this question, we definitely want to start by drawing a number line and plotting A, B, and C according to the information provided. So we'd have 0 followed by A, followed by B, followed by C, going from left to right. Now they're asking which of the following Roman numerals must be true. So as I go one by one, let's see what we come up with. With the first one, they're suggesting that 2A would be further to the right of 0 than b plus c. So let's think about that. 2a means I'm taking a's distance from 0 and doubling it. I'm, I'm adding it twice. Compared to taking b, which we know is to the right of a, and adding to that c, which is even further to the right. Is it possible that 2a would be further to the right of 0 than b plus c? I think we can see visually that the opposite is true. Adding b and c together would take us farther to the right of 0 than adding a to itself. So that eliminates answer choices a and d because they include the first Roman numeral in them. The second Roman numeral compares c minus a to b minus a, and looking at the number line, well c minus a would be the distance between a and c, and b minus a would be the distance between a and b. Can we tell which of those distances is greater, just based on what they told us in the free information? Yeah, we can see visually that C minus A is greater than B minus A because C is farther away from A than B is. So now we can eliminate answer choice C because it doesn't include the second Roman numeral. We're down to B and E depending on that third Roman numeral. So how to think about the ratio c over a in the context of a number line? c over a is like, how many times could I fit the distance between 0 and a inside the distance between 0 and c? Similarly, b over a means how many times can I fit the distance from 0 to a inside the distance from 0 to b? Now we know from the free info that the distance between 0 and c is greater than the distance between 0 and b. Therefore, we should be able to fit the distance between 0 and a, whatever that distance is, we should be able to fit it more times between 0 and c than we can between 0 and b. And that's the exact opposite of what this Roman numeral is suggesting. So now we can eliminate answer choice E, because answer choice E claims that the third Roman numeral is always true, but we just discovered that it's never true. And that leaves us with a correct answer choice, answer choice B. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.